Minnesota. Not everyone, though, was happy to see her. A Minnesota man was arrested after throwing two tomatoes at the former Alaska governor. Police commander Mark Stellick said the tomatoes missed Palin, but... One of the two tomatoes did, however, strike one of our police officers um, squarely in the face, actually. Voters in Massachusetts will head to the polls later today to vote on who will replace the Senate seat held by the late Edward Kennedy. Today's primaries include two Republicans and four Democrats. This is ABC News. What are the three most terrifying letters in the English language? IRS. If you have tax problems, the IRS can garnish your wages. Bring your bank account and more. But don't give up hope. Because Money Voices Law Firm, Money Lynn Deutsch, a professional tax corporation, can fight the IRS for you. And available to more credit. Call now for your free and confidential tax analysis and a free tax guide. Call 1-800-611-3064. That's 1-800-611-3064. Michael Barr, ABC News. KKO News Time is 105. Good morning, I'm Carolyn Burns, and here's what's happening around the Bay Area. Well, the calendar says it's still fall, but Mother Nature says forget about it. We're in an early winter wonderland on Monday throughout the Bay Area. Snow level dropped to about 350 feet. There are some sizable accumulations of real snow. But the melts and neighborhoods in the north and east Bay fields and the Santa Cruz Mountains. Mount Hamilton and Mount Diablo are a vision of some displaced mountain peak from the Boulder or Denver, Colorado area. And that cold weather system over northern California is supposed to bring snow to the Sierra. The first wave of the storm brought up to about three feet of snow to the higher elevations Monday morning and another two feet overnight. Traffic problems, mostly spin-outs, have kept traffic slow going on major Sierra routes. Getting from